I can't say how many, but it is significant. Uh, they occurred in two locations, two mosques in Christchurch, one at Deans Avenue and one at Linwood Avenue. Our police have those uh, locations locked down. We have four people in custody. We don't, we are not aware of other people, but we cannot assume there are not others at large. We have a number of schools in lockdown. Uh, we're currently making sure we have enough staff to saturate the area with enough equipment to ensure that when we release that lockdown, people can get home safely. We're in the process of that. It will happen very shortly. We are pouring resources uh, into that area. Every available Canterbury and uh, staff member and people nearby, other emergency services also, uh, saturating that area uh, with visibility to ensure that everyone who needs to get home can get so safely. We are also setting up uh, a facility as we must because this is absolutely tragic. There will be so many people affected so that people can get more information. They will be worried about their loved ones. Uh, we don't have the identities of those people who have died as yet uh, because those locations are still in lockdown. But we want to make sure we set up a facility where people can phone in and get the information they need. That is an absolute priority. Our people are doing that at the moment. As you can imagine, this is requiring every police and emergency resource that we have available. We have um, Defence Force aircraft here in Wellington ready to fly more resources into the area. Uh, we'll do that from other locations nearby as well.